And then Riam Ford to the left of Pictor. Away they go. Really good start there from Simbine. The South African, second to right, quickest out of the blocks and leading the moment. They're trying to come back. And is he going to get there? No, I think maybe Seville took it on the lead. The Adidas Atlanta City Games is one of the most conventional meets in track and field, as it is an event that is held on the streets of Atlanta. This gives fans an opportunity to be closer to the athletes and share in the joy as they compete. The meet had predominantly Adidas-sponsored athletes, who all came to put on a show. The Caribbean had a good showing at the meet, as our athletes gained the top three spots in all the finals. Natoya Gaul of Jamaica began the program for the region as she placed second in the 600 meters with a time of 1 minute 28.18 seconds. 2022 World Indoor 800 meters champion Aji Wilson of the United States took the event with 1 minute 27.00 seconds. The men's equivalent in the 600 meters saw Jamaica's Rajay Hamilton continue his consistency in the event by placing third with 1 minute 17.94 seconds, while Americans Bryce Hoppel and Cameron Jones were first and second respectively with times of 1 minute 17.13 seconds and 1 minute 17.43 seconds. The women's 100 meters hurdles were shaping up to see Daniel Williams and Crystal Morrison make the final. Unfortunately, they did not make the final, as Williams ran 12.92 seconds to finish fourth in her heat, and Morrison ran 13.33 seconds to place fourth in her heat. Damien Thomas of Jamaica had quite a sloppy race in the 110 meters hurdles, as he finished fifth in his heat with a season's best of 13.60 seconds, and he did not advance to the final. 2022 World Championship 100 meters finalist Oblique Seville of Jamaica continued his consistency in the event as he ran 10.03 seconds to win in the heat and returned to run 9.99 seconds to win the final. Seville's countryman Raim Ford was fourth in the final with a personal best of 10.07 seconds after entering the meet with a personal best of 10.18 seconds. World and Olympic 400 meters champion Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas also participated in the 100 meters but came fourth in his heat with 10.38 seconds and did not advance to the final. Jamaica's Jelani Walker also did not finish in that race. The women's 100 meters saw Ashanti Moore of Jamaica being the lone Caribbean entrant in the event. Moore equaled her personal best of 11.10 seconds to place third in both her heat and final. Ashanti Moore is continuing to improve and is eyeing that magical sub-11 clocking in the 100 meters. The women's 150 meters B race saw Olympic 4x100 meters relay gold medalist Ramona Burchell of Jamaica play second with 16.73 seconds as Angie Anilas of the United States won the event with 16.58 seconds. Trinidad and Tobago's Jareem Richards was able to run a solid 150 meters to win with a time of 14.83 seconds to continue the consistency that he has had this season. To end the meet, Jamaica's Antonio Watson was fourth in the 150 meters with a personal best of 14.93 seconds. Double 200 meters world champion Noah Lyles of the United States won the race in 14.56 seconds, which is the third fastest time ever. The Adidas Atlanta City Games was indeed an exciting one, and fans should be able to see more of our Caribbean athletes dominate at these weekly meetings. What was your favorite performance of the Adidas Atlanta City Games? Tell us in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Gyro Caribbean Sports as we bring you all the action from the 2023 track and field season. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as we celebrate the achievements of all our Caribbean athletes together. This is Gyro Caribbean Sports. Check out this video.